Thank you, DJ Sama. How's everybody doing tonight? Hello, baby. Hi, Valentina. Hi. Uh, Selena just read my entire speech. So, <laughs> good night. Uh, no, I'll, I'll start with the comment just for you, Talia and Frankie, that you should know marriage is like a walk in the park. Jurassic Park. <laughs> That's, that's funny because it's dangerous and scary. No, not really. Not really. Uh, Tanya, you know I love you very much. I'm very proud of you. Isn't she beautiful? Right? Yeah. And look at Frankie. Frankie's beautiful. Yes. I'm going to talk to Frankie in Spanish for a minute here. Please excuse me. Frankie? Que bolas, Eddie? Dale. All right, I'm going to uh, continue on where Selena left off. They've known each other their whole lives. I don't know if everyone knows that. So she started uh, talking about their youth. I'm going to advance when they were teenagers. Sadly, both Frankie and Talia failed their admissions test to Fort Lauderdale High School and had to go to St. Thomas. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm disappointed too. They weren't. Too. But they went off to college, Frankie, to law school, and during that time, he had a part time job with his uncle Carlos. So he was in the office all the time. One day, Talia came to visit her mom. Frankie sees her, hey, Talia, how you doing? Let's, let's go to lunch, let's catch up. And Talia, sure, let's do that, that's great. Okay, so a couple weeks later, Talia comes to me and says, uh, Dad, you should know uh, Frankie and I are talking. I said, all right, uh, you were having lunch, I assumed you would be talking? No, 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 that means we're seeing each other, we're dating. <laughs> Wait, what? It's so sudden. Who's this guy, Frankie? <laughs> well, you've known him 27 years. Okay. So they start dating. They fall in love. They're a great couple. I see them both growing as people. And Frankie calls up one night and says, uh, Adriana, David, are you going to be around tonight? I'd like to talk to you about something. So Frankie comes over and says, David, Adriana, you know how much I love Talia. I can't imagine my life without her. And uh, I was hoping to get your blessing to marry Talia. And I said, well, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just uh, think about this a minute. And I wrote a, uh, a pros and cons list. I wrote it out. I'd like to share it with you now. Where's Selena? Selena was going to help me with uh, props. Thank you. You can show them the uh, first page. So I just, there you go, see that? Frankie's pros and cons. Okay, you go to the first, the next page. Okay, can everybody read these back there? That's right, I'll go over each item. How long do we have this room for? This is gonna take a while. All right, the first one is very handsome. Frankie's very handsome, isn't he? The word very is a little overused, maybe. Uh, second one, elite kickball skills. So if you're at a park, a kickball game breaks out, that's your guy. Number th three, oh, like me, he's bilingual, very comfortable. Very comfortable in Spanish and English. It's back and forth. And uh, Linda, you'll remember this, what abuelita used to say to us all the time, and it really holds true tonight. Me duelen las piernas, no puedo caminar más. That, that means we love you very much. Duelen, love so much it hurts, caminar más to wish you mas, the most, best. 
We love you much the best. What's the last one? Oh, I gotta come over here a second. Excuse me. Uh, number four is he has a clean criminal history. No pending litigation against him. He is not currently on a terrorist watch list. <laughs> not everyone here can say that. <laughs> right, I think we have the idea, though. Uh, he's got a lot of good things about him. There's like 920 items here. I don't know if we're running out of time. So if you go to the next list, you know, not everyone's perfect. Everyone has their flaws. And this is his list of cons. Everyone read that one? Now let's, let's change the page. Oh. I, I know, right? It's so disappointing. He's a Cowboys fan. Everybody's, what part of Texas is he from? <laughs> He's not. He's not from Texas. You know, uh, you know how restaurants and movies, they get four-star reviews? There's only one. There's a one-star. <laughs> one-star review. It's crazy why anybody who has no connection would root for a team <laughs> like that. What can we, what can be done? What can we do? I don't, maybe change teams. Why don't you root for another team? I don't know. Pick one out of a hat. I don't know. Oh. That's a good one. They're fun. They're fun. Oh, hang on a second. I have more props. This is actual confetti when they won the Super Bowl at Hard Rock. Remember that? That was fun. Okay, um, so Your Honor, I have one last piece of evidence for your approval. Did you see what I did there, Frankie? <laughs> it's like I was talking in court. Frankie's a lawyer. Get it? All right, uh, last piece of evidence right here. Make sure everyone sees that. Oh! What is, what's happening? Oh, I've never seen Frankie look so happy. That looks like a little Chiefs thing. Everybody see that? Make sure everyone sees that. That's so much fun. Uh, you know, your wife is a fanatic for the Chiefs, so it'd be so easy to just continue with that night. Nah, I'm just joking. You don't have to root for the Chiefs. Adrian and I love you. We're so blessed to have you part of our family, and I wish you both all happiness. Cheers, everyone.